Hello everyone, CID here and welcome to another episode of the Orgasm series. In this series, I'll explore the world of orgasms and each week we'll share with you a very important tip that can help you expand your knowledge on one of the most pleasurable experiences of your life. So make sure to subscribe because every video will add another step on your journey towards becoming a superior lover. In this episode, I will go through a very crucial principle that can change your perception when it comes to orgasms. A principle that says increasing sexual energy is by far one of the most important elements in having bigger and more intense orgasms. As you may recall from the previous episode, orgasm is a buildup of sexual energy that reaches its peak, then follows by a very pleasurable release. Therefore, orgasms are the flow of the accumulated energy that radiates through your body. So it is fair to say that one way to experience more intense orgasms is to increase the amount of sexual energy that builds up in your body. Think about the experience of orgasm as an explosion. Having a mind-blowing orgasm is like creating a huge explosion with flames reaching hundreds of meters that can be seen from the moon. So the more explosive material means the more potential energy to be detonated which can lead to a much greater explosion. Therefore, it is pretty easy to conclude that to have a bigger blast, we need to gather as much as sexual energy, or in this scenario, as much as dynamite as possible. Last week, we used this graph and explored the three different stages of orgasm, the build-up, the peak, and release. However, to make things simpler, let's change the old graph into this version, which is more linear. And since we are only working with the build-up phase and do not need to focus on the release phase for now, we can change the graph into this one. Now, let's add some numbers here. As you can see, the vertical axis is the amount of sexual arousal. When your arousal goes from zero, the state of no arousal, to 100, which is the peak of your arousal, you will experience orgasm. The triangular area underneath the line is basically the total amount of your sexual energy. The bigger the area, the more dynamite, which means the greater the explosion. The way I invite you to look at this graph and orgasm is that as soon as you reach 100, which is the peak of your arousal, regardless of how much sexual energy you have accumulated, you will climax. So for instance, you can have an orgasm like this, where your explosion will be more like one of those faulty firecrackers that just make a sound and leak some smoke or you can reach an orgasm in a scenario like this, which can be much, much louder. As you can probably guess, one easy way to add to your sexual energy is to extend the duration of your lovemaking. But the question is, how else can you increase sexual energy? To answer this question, we need to have a closer look at our graph. Well, the interesting part is that what you see here is not actually a 2D graph, and there is another axis that we call the depth of sexual energy, which turns it into a 3D graph. And here, your sexual energy is not only the surface of the purple triangle, but the entire area that lies within this three-dimensional figure. It is very easy to understand that by adding just a little bit of depth, the amount of your sexual energy can boost dramatically. The third axis is probably one of the most unknown elements of orgasms and our sexuality. This unique line that represents the depth of your sexual energy can be influenced by many different factors, such as your trust and comfort levels, the quality of your communication, how relaxed and present you are during sex, your breath, sound and movement, and the emotional or energetic blockages in your body. It can also go up when a woman has multiple orgasms or when a man who hasn't ejaculated for a while. Additionally, it alters through different ways like sensuality, doing foreplay, and using different techniques such as push-pull method and teasing. When your sexual energy deepens and your arousal reaches its peak, especially over a long period of time, then and only then you would have enough sexual energy which can make the explosion from your orgasm so big that it may shift the axis of the earth. Thank you for watching this episode. Next week, I will explain the push-pull method and how this powerful technique can help you and your lover to have much bigger and more intense orgasms.
so make sure to subscribe in order to be notified when the next episode is up also if you found this video informative then please hit the like button and share as knowledge is the key to a happier and juicier sex life i am cid from lovemaking.com and we'll see you next time